how has your foundation helped to find new cures or uh, search out new treatments? Well, we, we, we do a variety of things. I mean, our, our goal is, 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 to find a, is to find a cure, find, find a treatment. And I say a treatment because if we can find a treatment that halts progression and eliminates symptoms, then that's a cure. You know, a cure has all kinds of definitions. What we do is, is we, we find the best researchers working on Parkinson's issues and, and we fund them and we, 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 uh, we, we'll, we fund researchers all over the world. We're involved on a government level, we're involved on a corporate level because, because what, you know, what, what needs to be repaired is the pipeline. I mean, it's like, it's like you can build a train that, train that can go 250 miles per hour, but if you don't have any track, it's not going anywhere. You've now raised $250 million, which is amazing. And uh, kudos to both of you because well, you've really... Generosity of a lot of people. Yeah. But, you know, you've inspired so many amazing uh, people to do amazing things. And uh, to sidetrack a little bit, but I, I was hearing about people who drove their DeLorean across the country, uh, actors who have run in marathons for you, people, everybody, just coming out of the woodwork to do things. Young girls selling lemonade on the street. Uh, your daughter. daughter. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's amazing that you've inspired all these, all these people. And thing, our daughter, um, Esme, our youngest daughter, we, the, the marathon goes by our, our apartment every, every, uh, every year. And she was actually born around marathon time. And, and I remember when she was born, I remember standing at the window at the hospital holding her and watching the marathon go by on fifth. And um, so every year the marathon goes by. And now we have Team Fox runners. Part of our foundation is called Team Fox. And it's, and it's to help mobilize grassroots fundraisers and, and people with an interest in Parkinson's um, who want to do something. And, and so a lot of them run the marathon. And they have uh, Team Fox singlets and, and blue and orange, orange being our color. And, um, and so we, we, I go out in the street and, and we have a lot of our supporters up by our building and I put Esme on my shoulders and now she's getting yeah, too big for my shoulders. <laughs> but and she spots the Team Fox and she'll go, there's one and then we'll all, and she has a big cowbell and she'll ring and, and all the supporters will cheer as the Team Fox runner goes by and we had like 200 and something last year. So y your family, your friends, people from around the world have gotten involved. Mm -hmm. you, you've raised all this money and this awareness. Now where are the roadblocks and what have been the complications to making a difference? Three words, science is hard. Science is hard and, 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 and you, you, it's, it's difficult because you, you need to make a thousand mistakes before you get, mm -hmm. you get that one answer that you're looking for. Um, and the brain is a tricky thing. The brain is, is really, you think of this, the earth and the sea and the brain is another frontier. I mean, the sky and the sea, I mean, it's like space. We don't know that much about the brain, and so we, 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 we need to think about these things like, like uh, uh, um, whether certain genetic restructuring we can do or, 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 or uh, understanding genes, the way they work in, in, in doing, doing cell repair, uh, or uh, finding, like I say, if we can even find biomarkers and, and understand how the disease progresses because now because now we don't know if someone's got Parkinson's until they, until they show symptoms. We don't know what the progression was that got them there. And when we can understand that progression, and it's tricky stuff, it's the grimy, tough work that has to be done before someone goes, Eureka. You know? Stem cell research has been very important yeah. and I think it's making a big difference. Uh, talk about what, what the difference uh, that you see it will make. Well, stem cell is an exciting, is an exciting uh, prospect. I mean, we, we when I, I was so strong in support of stem cell, and, and people might get the impression that's solely what we do, is it's not. I mean, we support all kinds of research, stem cell included. The thing with stem cells is that you've got these cells that are pluripotent cells that, that have the, 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 the potential to be anything. And so they, they, therefore you can get them, we, we've seen them t change into dopamine producing cells. I mean, they, we've seen them become what we need. Uh, the, the thing that's difficult and takes some work is to get them to, to only grow to the extent that you want them to grow. I mean, it's, it's tricky stuff because you get them in there and you, you want them to, you don't want them to overgrow, you don't want them to overproduce cells, you don't want um, uh, uh, more in there than you need. So it's, 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 it's all this fine tuning that has to be done to, to untap that potential. And if you have a limitation on research like there was for a time, um, you know, you, you can't get those answers. I mean, I think that's the thing that, that, we're, that we're about more than anything else, which is just, there's no question we won't ask, and there's nowhere we won't go for the answer.
it's that kind of dogged determination that people count on with us. That, 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 that um, you know, don't tell me I can't look there. I'm going to look there, and, 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 and I'm going to get what I find there, I'm going to tell to other people. I mean, we, we, we were really involved in getting people to, to convene and to share information. We fund somebody, especially like in our, 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 our uh, bio, uh, biomarker initiative, if we fund a researcher, it's, it's on the condition that he shares with other researchers and, and that information becomes available to the public. Now that we're really on a path to seeing an openness and, and exposure to treatments and, and the kinds of changes we need to see, how fast do you think we'll move along the road? What do you see, you know, 5, 10, 15 years out? Uh, I'd love to see some, some of these things answered. Um, I think that we just, we just move straight ahead and, and push on and, and, well, I shouldn't say straight ahead because we, we go in all different tangents and different directions, but, but we're push, moving forward all the time. And, and so it's, it's hard to, it's hard to, we learned the hard way that it's hard to put time limits on things. And to predict where to predict. you're going to find answers. And but but, but we're, we're confident that, that if, if it's out there, we'll find it. Mm -hmm.